Good morning, I'm here at the Antarctic Centre in Christchurch and today I am flying down to Antarctica. It's been a two week delay in the start of the season due to bad weather down on the ice so we're pretty excited today to be jumping into the C-17 aircraft and flying to Scott Base. So this is my flight from Christchurch, New Zealand down to Scott Base, Antarctica. If you are one of the visitors who's come to observe our program, a truly unique and educational experience awaits. Whichever it is, you are fortunate to be among a handful of people in history to experience Antarctica. And we are pleased to have all of you with us. So the C-17 is a pretty amazing aircraft. It can carry just over 100 passengers or 77 tons of cargo and it can operate on airstrips as short as 1,400 meters. So we're just about to board the C-17 airplane. Last year I flew down on an A319 and I made a pretty cool video too, so you check that one out. This year we're on the cargo plane and it's gonna be a lot different because we don't have windows. To get into the plane we have to be wearing some of our extreme cold weather gear and then when we get closer to Antarctica we're told that we have to put our massive jacket on and our boots. So at this stage we don't have to put that on yet. So once aboard the aircraft, we're told to take our seat. Every seat on this flight was allocated to somebody. Uh, preparation for takeoff, I'd like to brief you on the emergency procedures and equipment aboard the C-17. We are equipped with four emergency exits. Please prepare your seat belts. Please remove your seat belts. So the rules on board are much the same as a normal aeroplane, although as you can see, the inside looks so much different to a normal jet plane. Once we reached our cruising altitude, we're allowed to get up out of our seat and walk around, and there's an aisle on each side that you can go up and down. There's only four small windows, and when we're flying over the Southern Ocean, all we could really see was cloud. As we got close to Antarctica, we could see the sea ice that surrounds the continent. And shortly after, we got our first glimpse at the mountains and glaciers that make up most of Antarctica. As we started to descend, we were instructed to sit down and fasten our seat belts. We also put on our ECW clothing at that point. From there, we descended into McMurdo Sound and landed at Phoenix Runway. All right, folks, we're on the ground. Welcome to McMurdo. Please remain seated until we come to a complete stop. We'll be taxiing for a little bit. I've made it safely to Scott Base. I'm going to be working here as a field trainer for the next four months. Basically I teach people how to live and work safely in Antarctica, which is a pretty awesome job. 
the flight down today on the C-17 was amazing. I actually made the same video last year flying on an Airbus, so this year was a lot different because there wasn't so many windows and it's a cargo aeroplane instead of a passenger aeroplane. This is my second time working at Scott Base and it's my fifth time going to the continent of Antarctica. It's definitely one of my favourite places in the world. It's extreme down here and it's pretty much as extreme as you can get anywhere in the world, which is why I keep coming back. So I'm going to end this video here, but it's not my last Antarctic video, so stand by for lots more of my time here at Scott Base. I'm going to try and show you guys as much as possible while I'm here. Sorry, it's a little bit cold. It's about negative 30 right now. And I'm struggling to talk. So if you did like the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. All those good things. And until the next video, cheers for watching.